This is the question I got asked. How do I convert a Google business account to a personal account? I'm gonna talk about that and give you some suggestions in this video, but before I do, hit that subscribe and that notify button because I create all of these videos for you. So this is my Gmail account. I have a couple different Gmail accounts. This Gmail account right here, uh, Burris Consulting at gmail.com, I created it to predominantly to, uh, for all the videos I do in the context of using Gmail as a business tool. But I also have a business domain. Here's my business domain right here, and it is set up so that it's, uh, you know, TL Burris at teddyburris.com, which is also connected to TL Burris at burrisconsulting.com. It's all one and the same. I own this Google Workspace account. I am the admin. I pay the bill for it. And remember the words of this, I own this. It's my Google business account. Now, if you have your own Google business domain that you're paying for, then it's yours. And you can make a decision to use it in any way you want. You can use it purely for business, or you could use it for business and personal. Now I've chosen to use my business, uh, Google business or Google workspace account for me personally and professionally. So personally, I'm, I use the email address tlburris at teddyburris.com. Professionally for business, I use the email address tlburris at burrisconsulting.com. So I use it for everything I do for the most part uh, from an email perspective for business and personal. Because again, I own the domain. So if you own your Google Workspace domain, it's yours to use any way you want. Now, if you are using an email address that's associated with someone else's Google Workspace domain, then you have to follow the rules that they want you to follow and use it for whatever purposes they allow you to use it for. You don't own it. So you can't convert it and only use it for your personal use because you work for someone else. If you lose the job or that person severs their relationship with you and takes away that email address associated with that workspace domain, then you lose everything you have going on there. So I wouldn't recommend that you use a Google workspace domain that someone else pays for. I wouldn't use that email address as your personal email address. But again, based on the question I was asked, how can I use my Google business account for personal, you can. You, By the way, you could also, if you want to, create other synonym email addresses or other Suedo email addresses associated with that email address. Yeah, and so, you know, and that's a whole other conversation for another day, but you could separate the emails you get and you could filter so the email comes in with this uh, 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 pseudo email address, it goes into this uh, inbox and or this uh, folder. And if it comes in under another email address that you have set up for that uh, email account, then you can have it go into this other uh, label. So you can manage, here's my business email messages and here's my personal email messages based on the way it comes into your system. Bottom line, if you own the Google Workspace domain and you pay the bill, you can decide to use it for anything you want. If however, you're using an email address associated with someone else's Google workspace domain, I would not encourage you to use that for personal email because when you sever the relationship with that person slash that workspace domain, you lose those personal email messages. I'm Teddy, your Google workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful.